Railway electrification, using the catenary system, simplifies train power supply. Overhead wires transmit electricity, replacing traditional fuel engines. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of the catenary system, the backbone of modern railway electrification. Additionally, we'll address a fundamental question, why does the catenary system typically carry 25 kV? The wire that connects with the pantograph on top of the train is indeed called the contact wire. This wire plays a crucial role in the catenary system, as it directly supplies electricity to power the train's motors and systems. The contact wire is typically made of a highly conductive material, such as copper or aluminum, to efficiently transmit electrical current. It is suspended at a precise height above the rail tracks. The maintenance of the correct height and tension of the contact wire over longer distances can indeed present challenges. That's why tension droppers, also known as tensioning devices, are employed to address these challenges and ensure proper contact with the pantograph. Poles are used at intervals along the railway to support the contact wire. The distance between two poles along the railway track is typically 55 meters. Here are some components like stay tube, bracket tube, steady tube, register arm and insulator. Near the turnout and crossing areas, an auto-tensioning device is employed to automatically adjust the tension of the overhead electrification OHE lines. In railway electrification systems, section insulators serve to provide electrical isolation between different segments of the overhead electrification OHE system. These insulators are commonly positioned at strategic locations, such as crossovers, diamond crossings, turnouts, loops, and sidings. In railway electrification systems, the standard voltage required for train operations is typically around 750 volts. However, the supply voltage is much higher in the overhead electrification OHE system, typically at 25 kV. Nowadays, rail is a key transportation and spades everywhere. So, this high voltage is necessary for efficient power transmission over long distances with minimal energy loss. When transmitting power at lower voltages, then larger conductor sizes are required to carry the same amount of power. This is due to the relationship between power, voltage, and current, as described by the power formula P equals IV. As we know, when current flow increases, the voltage decreases, and when voltage increases, the current flow decreases. So, higher voltages allow for lower currents for the same amount of power transmission, which reduces the size and cost of the conductors needed for the system. This is why high voltage transmission systems, such as those used in railway electrification at 25 kV, are preferred for efficient power distribution over long distances. Hope you understood the video on railway overhead electrification systems. If you found it helpful, please share an inspiring comment. Thank you, let's grow up, never stop learning. Railway electrification, using the catenary system, simplifies train power supply. Overhead wires transmit electricity, replacing traditional fuel engines. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating